I got started in the music business by pure fluke. I love punk rock and I love going to live concerts. I was a bike messenger, I was going to school, and on the weekends I was going to a lot of shows. And one of my buddies, a good friend of mine at the time, was promoting punk rock shows. So I started hanging around, you know, I'd be there to help him out, do the guest list, sell tickets at the door, uh, move stuff around the stage, load in gear, do security, whatever it took in order to make sure that the show went on. And after a while, you know, he asked me if I wanted to help out more and be part of the actual show, invest in it. So we would do the shows together. And uh, it never in my entire life did I think it would ever be a career. You know, we were doing it to see the bands that we wanted to see and just having fun with it. And the whole time I was going to university. So I just thought this was some fun sideline that I would have fun doing while I was in college and then move on to something else with my life. I got pretty lucky getting into the business. I kind of stumbled into it. You know, I wasn't really planning on a career in the music business, but I sort of found my way. And I think that's kind of a good lesson is that in order to get into this business, it's often not a traditional business to get into. So the path is always through different sorts of jobs that allow you to get to where you want to be. Some of the most popular misconceptions about the music business or the entertainment business in general is that somehow it's very glamorous, you know, that you're going to meet stars, that you're going to fly around the world and travel on yachts. Not likely to happen. For some people that might happen, but for most people it's really about working hard and you know, you're sitting in front of a computer, you're working nights, you're working weekends. So you have to be passionate about it. It really has to be a labor of love. It has to be something that you can't imagine yourself doing anything else. Otherwise, it's just not going to work because if you're just in it for the glamour or the money, those are things that may come later, but it's not gonna happen right off the bat. Getting into the entertainment industry is very difficult. One of the guys who's been working with me the longest came in as a intern. No, actually came in as a, he was a career day. I think he was in grade 10 or 11. And he came and uh, he came to see what it was all about. And uh, he never left. He's been with me for over 20 years. So a lot of our kids, a lot of our people get to start as uh, interns. And um, others get their start working in the box office or doing concessions at a festival, working security, um, working at you know any any number of jobs that you could get on site or at a venue and I think the key to making it work is that once you find you get your foot in the door and start in a company that does what we do um, then you have to basically pry it open and, and, and do more and learn and learn from the other departments and really pay attention to what's going on around you and gradually work your way up and get noticed and uh, figure out what you're passionate about and what you want to do within the industry. Just keep working hard and you will eventually make it. Good luck.